Good evening. South Korea confirmed on the possible agreement between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un to end Korean war at the Hanoi summit yesterday. The devastating conflict between communist North Korea and the capitalist South ended with an armistice rather than a peace treaty, leaving Pyongyang and Washington still technically at war. Progress is hoped to be made in the talks between Kim, the leader of North Korea, and the U.S. President this upcoming Wednesday and Thursday on denuclearization and possible peace treaty. However, Blue House spokesman Kim said a formal peace treaty must be signed involving South Korea and China at the last stage of the denuclearization process and that may take a long time to materialize. Pakistan accused Indian warplanes of violating the line of control when it crossed into its airspace and dropped payloads in Kashmir. Pakistan military spokesman Major General Asif Ghafoor said Pakistan Air Force made an emergency takeoff in response to the attack and no casualties or damage reported. Ghafoor posted images of what he claimed the payload on Twitter showing what appeared to be pieces of metal in a heavily forested area. However, there was no immediate comment from New Delhi as for now. The introduction of mandatory sex education in Britain has sparked a backlash from religious parents and faith schools that want to be able to opt out from the new rules. According to new government guidelines, published late on Monday, sex education will become compulsory from the age of 12 in September 2020. The first overhaul of sex and rel relationships education in Britain since 2000 sparked criticism from some religious parents and faith schools that want sex education and teaching about LGBT plus relationships to stay optional where a petition has been signed and protests has been made in stages by parents objecting to the teaching of such education. But Sean Delanty, who has advised the government on LGBT education, said LGBT inclusion in education could save lives and there should be no get-out clause for any learning community around the inclusion of LGBT plus identities. And that ends the World News at 8. I'm Shira Abamanso for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.